Once you're logged into the computer, go to Google Chrome, go to your Canvas dashboard, and scroll down to the Canvas course, Fab Lab 2020 LBC session. Scroll down, and we'll be focusing on the module Roland VG2 540 Vinyl Printer Cutter. Open the PDF named LBC Home Bumper Sticker. Download by clicking on the link. In the lower left, you'll notice that the Home Bumper Sticker PDF is downloaded. Left click on the arrow, select Open. We're going to save by hitting our right mouse button on the PDF, save as, and we'll save it on the desktop. We'll close this out, and you can see it's saved onto our desktop. We're going to be going to the VersaWorks. which is our printer software for the vinyl printer cutter. We're going to shrink the window just a little bit. We're going to drag in our PDF into the area that says status job name by click holding with our left mouse button and just dragging it in. We'll maximize the screen, and you can see here is your bumper sticker. Now, it's a little low quality right now, but it will come out high quality. Down in the lower left, you'll see a little gear for settings. Left click on settings. And we're going to work from the top down. Not a lot of these are going to be needed. The media settings, we're going to select get media width. You can see the vinyl is 52.68 between our rollers. Scale will keep at 100%. This was designed to fit just as the uh, uh, bumper sticker size. The position, we're actually going to hit center on media. And we're going to copy by selecting the up arrow two, three, four, five times so you will have five bumper stickers you could with other prints rotate but we're going to select the orientation as upright they will come out seemingly backwards so if you're looking for a photo opportunity you would actually put them upside down and in the machine they would come right side up the second icon is quality we do have generic vinyl in there currently. We don't need to have any other settings uh, changed within the quality. With the color adjustment, same thing. We don't need to necessarily change anything with color adjustments. The file format, you can see once again, it looks pixelated, but it's okay. We don't need to change anything also in here. The mark, or where we could position spots across the vinyl, we don't necessarily need to set anything up here. The printer controls, however, we do need to cut sheet after output. Select the box. Everything else is already set. The cut controls, we do want to cut image boundaries meaning that all these what are called marching ants in our world, all the little pink lines, we want to make sure that we cut those boundaries that we've included. So you have a nice clean cut for a bumper sticker. The perform perforated cut for image boundaries is the outside purple slash blue looking line. If we select that, our perforation length we're going to change to two inches. The perforation force, we're going to change for a pen gravity to 200. The half cut length, we're going to change 02. 
half cut force, we're going to keep at one force, the gravity, which is basically the weight of the pen when it comes out, the weight of the knife, I'm sorry, as it comes out and cuts the sheet. Job management, we don't have to worry about anything here. Clip and tile, we don't have to worry about anything here. We also don't have to worry about anything in the variable data settings or in the special color plate generation. So with all that, just as a review, we only had to get the media width, center on media, make our copies, jump all the way down to printer controls, cut sheet after output, and the third area to cut our image boundaries. And if so, in our case, because we have more than one, to perforate the outside to easily pop them out of the sheet. Then hit OK. We're ready for the settings, so now we're going to hit print and watch the machine run. Now it's ready to go.